Hi! So I wanted to explain a little bit more why I call my Instagram channel for my robotic paintings, painting variables. Now a variable is something that can change. You define it in your software and then you add to it, you subtract to it, you do all kinds of calculations throughout the process that you're trying to program. So throughout the routine your variable is changing. So when creating a program for painting there's so many variables involved as I'm programming the robot to move around. The, the color will change so I want the brush to dip into a different position so I have to define where the positions of the colors are um, and then define where that brush stroke is going. One of the things I found out immediately when I was starting to write software to paint is the Z direction is very important. Now the robot that I have, uh, let me just grab them. So the robot I have is a U-arm and it has a linkage system that always keeps the front end perpendicular to the page. So it has a clamp that I put the brush into and the pencil will always stay perpendicular to the, the surface that it's drawing on. So there's pros and cons to this. The pro is the variables I only have to worry about is the X, Y, and Z position of this piece here. But the cons are when you're painting, um, one thing I immediately realized and that's obvious is a painter will actually angle the brush. So let me just grab let me just grab a brush to show you. So when I'm painting and putting a brush down, I'm actually angling the brush to the page. See that? And then the brush creates a nice straight line. Now think about this. If you have your brush sitting perpendicular to the page, it's going to come down and see how it the the, the bristles fan out. That's actually one of the issues of painting perpendicular. So now every time I put the brush down it fans out and then drags across. And if you look at my early paintings on my Instagram account, I started my Instagram account when I was still learning how to paint with the robot because I really wanted to show the progression. And one thing you will notice immediately is, I'll show you one of my early pieces. So this was one of my early paintings and you can see that the the initial brush stroke went with a splat. So you have, here's a good example. You have a large um, splat and then the brush drags across. You have a large splat there in pink, then the brush drags across. And I found this t not to look very appealing or painterly. Um, so I had to figure out what can I do with my existing robot because my existing robot will always hold the brush perpendicular. I'll show you some other examples. Here's another example while I was still painting with straight lines. I'll flip it this way. So you can see the brush went splat and then across. Here's another good example. Splat and then across. So what I ended up doing, so I would break the brush stroke that into, um, divide it into multiple intervals. And so what ends up happening is the brush stroke comes down and each time it hits an interval, it goes down a little more, down a little more, down a little more. So rather than coming splat and across, it slowly sweeps in. So you can see at least it's a little more controlled. And then when it finally comes to its final position in the Z direction, so this is Z, when it's painting a brush stroke, it's not fanning the brush out. It's got some velocity to it, so it's bending this way. So um, I'm going to run an experiment and show you different Z heights of swooping into the page and you can see exactly what's going on.
So hopefully that made a little bit of sense. I wanted to show you the sheet close up. So here in the middle we have the Z equals zero. You can see the splats are a little bit bigger and all the way to compare it to Z equals six, Z offset equals six. So you can see that the if all I'm changing is the entry point of the, the brush stroke, it, it um, has a little bit of a difference. This is why I call this project on Instagram painting variables, because as you can see, um, a very simple thought that artists don't even think about where how high they're holding their brush off the page and their entry and, and angles of the brush uh, make a big difference to the painting. Thank you for listening, and if you have any questions about this project or want to hear about different variables that I've programmed into the robot, please let me know. Um, I'm excited to share what I'm up to um, and all the work that I'm putting into this, so I'm really happy that you tuned in. And the links to that Instagram page I was mentioning are below, as well as links to my website. And subscribe if you're interested in continuing to follow this project. Thank you.